hello everyone i hope you all are doing great we heartily welcome you all to our youtube channel cat c master if you enjoy what you see hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload well today i'll be taking you through the pre processing tools that is one of my favorite designs and then we have the hypo uh, hypo mesh okay that also will cover in the future sessions but today i'll be taking you through ansar 25 version so at the end we'll also see what exactly ansar 23 and 24 and how it was before and how is the new GUI of the answer 25. We'll see that. Okay, agenda you could see. Uh, we'll see how we wanna launch the agenda uh, like answer. Sorry, uh, importing answer files, GUI tools, sets, toolbars, answer settings. Okay, and then view modes. We'll see and the different types of toolbars. Okay, lock views, database browser. Okay, lists and some of the utilities. We'll also see and then uh, yeah. So finally, we'll go through the help and. We'll see answer 24 versus 25. Okay. Well, let me take you through the same. So, if you are new to answer, if you don't know how to open the answer, you could see I have the answer 25 open. I also have the answer 24 open. So, if you don't know how to open it, you can directly go to the browser and just search for answer. Okay. You'll get this here. Or else you can just right click on the folder location. You'll get again this one. You can pin to taskbar if you want. Right click, you can pin to start. Okay. Or else you can even pin to the here the taskbar. Okay. Now this is the user interface of 24. You could see file tools and all everything is here. And these are all the uh, properties, materials, sets, and includes which are available here. Okay. And this is the database. And we have these all the tools. Which are utilized uh, for uh, controlling the <coughs> geometry, mesh, and the visibilities. Okay, and then these are few of the tools uh, which are very used to focus the components. Okay, this is for the face views. Okay, and then these are very important. So these are the topo tools. We have the preparation. We have the design. So depending upon that, you'll get the different options. Okay, these are the direct edits. Similarly, you can switch for the classic. most of the cases we use it and then advanced cases we use the shell mesh and we'll also have the uh the hex and penta mesh also okay and you can directly jump to the hex mesh from here also okay and these are the morph morphing tools we mostly use the dfm and here you can set your deck so i mostly prefer optistruct deck if you are using nastrin you can switch to the nastrin deck and depending upon that all the tools will be available like the grids and the coordinate systems and the elements okay rb to rb 3s okay well uh let me take you through 25 you could see the interface is completely different uh so first i would like to take you through the smooth migration to the answer 25 so to explore that you can just switch here the help menu you can switch to the release highlights Okay, you can even go to the about, and you can even go to the answer help. So, I'd like to take you through the release. Okay, you could see this is the user experience. What it shows first one is the uh, the ribbon bars. Okay, which are available here. Okay, this is the new user interface. We have the left dock area ribbon, and uh, we have the bottom area and the right snap area. Okay, similarly. uh we have this all the tools at the bottom areas okay toolbars selection tools we have all the left docks available okay and then we have the auto hide option for the stock so which is newly included okay uh, i think i can directly take you to this particular smooth migration to answer i'll just select this once or else i can take it always okay i think you people need to concentrate very important so initially if you were using 25 uh, sorry 24 so now how do we switch to the 25 some people might feel 
the answer 25 GUI is completely changed and quite difficult to understand but I had went through this GUI and this is a pretty good one I think you might also feel the same once you explore it so this is how GUI looks like okay we have the uh, ribbons which are being given so if you just switch to these ribbons and you will get the respective tools inside okay the next one is the the top area bottom and the left side areas you could see this is the left side area where you have the database and the all the properties uh, material and the includes everything is available I'll showcase later this is the top view where you have the ribbons side view and then this is the bottom where you're gonna get all the tools okay next one this is the new one as I told you okay we have the ribbons but previously it was like this here okay you have the topo and then the uh, shell mesh classic mesh and the yeah design and the morphing tools and the volume mesh but here in the NIF, you have everything in the top ribbon okay this is the main difference when it comes to left side you could see we have the database properties okay feature manager everything is included here when it comes to previous it was here can you see we have the properties material sets and includes okay and then here, this is the database okay so this is the main difference so everything is here I'll showcase that also later and then when it comes to the uh, central tools initially initially it was like this okay completely it was covered and now they have centralized it here okay here you'll get the uh, the status and all the focus tool utility tools are available here okay and the <laughs> next one is the selection tool so we have the different options in it if you use this drop down you have this all the edit change the order change type all the options are available I'll show that as well selection toolbars okay so which is very important previously it was like this only entities but here you have the drop down from there you can even select and we have the new addition that is if you use alt E and alt S it will automatically expand and shrink shortcut okay I used it I liked it a lot the next one is the geometry and 3d sketch in the new one so if you select the 3d sketch you will get all the tools related to sketching workbench like we have the solid works okay in new one and ansa and abacus and have a view we're gonna get these tools but in the new version they have separately made this ribbon so you're gonna uh, explore all these tools and then when it comes to geometry we have all the rules uh, all the tools related to the geometry for editing filling extruding okay healing and the aligning and the yeah these all things previously we had the topo everything was included here which was quite easy for us to use it because we were familiarized with it but now we have separated it will be easy for you guys as well now when it comes to mesh previously we have the classic mesh everything is here listed all the tools are available but in the new version we have the surface mesh you will get all the tools here okay uh, <coughs> you can see the mesh settings okay generate mesh we have it so yeah pattern mesh inserting deleting the hot points joining cutting so everything is available here itself next one generate mesh previously it was here generate mesh you have the free remesh batch mesh okay a lot of things but in the new version we have the direct generate mesh tool in one tool you gonna have the batch mesh and generator in uh, generators included can even set the mesh settings here directly okay yeah yeah presentation parameters initially it was quite difficult you need to go to the taskbar activate the presentation mode from there you have the cross shell as solid but here in the mesh icon itself if you use the drop down you have the draw select solid option included very useful so mid surface if you are going to deal with the mid surface tools everything is available in this particular tool so initially it was like this okay mid surface skin casting align everything but in the new version so we have the create metal so from there we have the casting excluded sheet metal everything is included and we can use this one okay, very useful yeah so this is important the retopology has been in introduced the new tab very how all the advanced tools the modify rips okay rips a solid thickness check okay remove artifacts polish okay denoise so all are available sculpting tools and all okay the morphing so it was like this before and this is how we have it now 
the morphing we use the DFM features most morphing and the D4 map a lot okay yeah so next thing yeah so these are the analysis tools structures so that I'll showcase later previously it was like this we have the deck from there we would we used to switch but here in the analysis we have the structure in which crash everything okay yep so few advanced things for the geometry so it is like this now cut on edge everything but before it was like this cut okay the new one is quite advanced now the uh, previously we have the reconstruct improve tool inside this we have the reconstruct reshape smooth but in the new one in the improve itself they have included everything reconstruct smooth and quality okay well there are different layouts the first layout is like this second layout is exactly at the center third layout is like this so you will have the status bar here but I prefer the first layout I liked it a lot I think yeah so remaining all is not needed that much uh, these are all of the tool whatever our and all I had just explained so this is how they have customized the new user interface let me take you through answer 25 as I said so this is how it looks like so in this we have the database activated if you want the sets you can just pin them like this properties materials and if you just click here you have everything available here okay these are the batch mesh the database is available okay these are the ribbons for the 3d sketch for the geometry we have it likewise if you use the drop down you'll get everything so mesh if you activate the retopology you will get it here okay all the tools are available likewise so for views also we have it for the customs plugin we have it so yeah for the model if you activate here you have the deck report okay in the structure you have these all the tools available now from here you can switch the decks from nastron to fem and you can set it up and then these are all the tools as I said so we have the drop down entity mode and the node okay and then these are for the uh, uh, the first layer for the locking the uh, storing the uh, the views and all we can do it here this is the fringe plots so yeah I think uh, in the 24 this, this remains the same okay this has been completely changed the database tab has been completely changed okay remaining here it, it has been placed at the same location but <coughs> performance wise everything I feel <coughs> 25 is going to help us a lot well yeah I think uh, this is all about the session so we just seen how we need to see uh, the answer 25 and 24 versions and which is the uh, a good one as uh, as of now I prefer 25 24 is also good but uh, in future everyone will switch to 25 and start using it yeah we heartily thank you all for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up follow us on Facebook LinkedIn and Instagram for behind the scenes content and the updates. Stay curious, stay awesome and see you again in the next video.